The chamber is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. We continue to hear the testimony of the witness Bouton. Bouton. The chamber would like now to give the floor to the co-prosecutors. Le tour est venu au coprocureur de poser des questions aux témoins. To put questions to this witness if they have any. The co-prosecutors have 15 minutes. Vous avez 15 minutes. You take the floor. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, President. Good morning, Madame Bouton. Bonjour, Madame Bouton. The prosecution would like to ask you some questions. Did you recognize questions? those people who sent you to Anlong Kong? Que and vous savez qui vous a were you the Anlong only Kong one who was sent or were other people also sent when you were sent to Anlong Kong? Anlong Kong ou que vous faisiez partie d'un groupe? Response, no, Réponse. I did not recognize them. There was non. only me who was sent at that time. Question. Before you were sent to Anlong Kong, Avant envoyé à Anlong Kong were you first sent to S21 que vous avez été or were you S21, sent directly to Anlong Kong? Anlong Kong directement? Response. Réponse. I was sent directly to Anlong Kong. Anlong Kong. Question. Question. Regarding the work that you did at Anlong Kong, pour ce qui est des tâches que vous a donné à Anlong Kong, how many hours per day did you work? Cela représentait combien d'heures de travail par jour? And what time did you start? Et à quelle heure commenciez-vous? Response: I started Réponse. working Je in the morning. Le matin. At 10 or 11 a.m., we returned, heures, heures, we had a meal, pour un repas. and then we had like a labor for half an hour, then we rested, and we ready for the afternoon Ensuite, shift. Repos, puis there was no rest. Question. At that Question. location, did you notice any children who were forced to do labor work over there? À faire des Response, it Réponse. seems that there was no child at that location, non, only adults. I only adultes. saw children when they were sent by truckloads uh, occasionally. Ils Question. Par did you, Question. were you ever que arrested and sent for interrogation during the time you worked at Anlong Kong? Interrogé you said that you were tortured. Vous dites avoir été Can you recall torturé? the person who tortured vous you? Qui vous a torturé? Can you respond, please, says the co-prosecutor. Response. I cannot recall at non, all, je ne me souviens pas du tout. and I do not recognize the person. Et je, je ne me souviens pas de la personne. Question: Did you know the people who were arrested and sent to Question. Long Kong? What category of people were those people regarded by Anka? Dans quelle catégorie les gens qui à that time, Kong, they were arrested and sent, réponse, and we réponse, were regarded as the enemy. Comme des That's why we were sent to Anlong Kong. We were their prisoners. Nous étions prisonniers. Question. Question. You said you knew that prisoners were taken out. Vous dites que from the des prisonniers étaient location where you worked. De là où Later vous on, did you ever see any of them return? Est-ce que vous avez jamais vu ces gens qui étaient emmenés revenir? Response: No. Réponse: Non. 
not at all. And I dare Personne not ask venu, anybody. Je posé, posé and some people even say, we would know if we were to be sent out. Certains disaient même que nous saurions si nous devions être emmenés. Question. At Hong Kong, Question. did you ever participate Kong, in any meeting? And if so, what was the content of that meeting? Et um, si oui, sur quoi portaient ces réunions? Response, no, we Réponse were never non. called on to a meeting. If we made a mistake, a we would be si bitten, we would be scolded and disciplined. Et on nous imposait des sanctions disciplinaires. Question. Question. When you were at Hong Long Kong, nobody ever instructed you to criticize or self-criticize? Euh, reçu d'instructions de procéder à votre critique Response, ou d'autocritique. No. Like si envoyé en rééducation et on nous frappé. Question. Et à Hong Kong, did you ever see à any Kong, foreigners que vous avez vu des étrangers qui auraient été aussi détenus? Response, I Réponse. did not see any foreigner. Non, je n'ai pas no. vu étranger. Question. Question. You said that during the time that you rested, you breastfed your baby. Vous dites que vous profitiez de la pause pour allaiter votre bébé. Could you tell the chamber the location at the ch child care center where you breastfed your children. Can you describe it? Can you describe it? Can you describe it? Response. Réponse. I cannot use other term other than suffering. I had Je suffered a great deal because my child was so skinny. Euh, mon bébé He looked était so euh, thin and euh, small. extrêmement rachitique. And, uh, they did not give good care for Et on ne s'est pas bien occupé the kids. And then when bébé. I came home, I noted that uh, my Quand kid rentrais, uh, je was voir crying. Que then it was time to breastfeed him. Then it was only that time, and we could not really take any other time to breastfeed them. Le seul moment où je pouvais le faire. Question. Question. Do you remember that uh, the numbers of children at the uh, child care center? Response. There were about Réponse. 10 of them. Some dizaine. were sick and died. Certains étaient malades et sont morts. There were not many Ils n'étaient pas nombreux. Some who were sick were not allowed to uh, see their mothers because uh, they said they had medics to cure mère, them. The mothers were no important to be near them anyway. Mr. Mr. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I have no further question, but I would like to share the floor with the international court prosecutor. The President, you take the floor. Madame Bouton, je voudrais vous poser Please, quelques Bouton. questions concernant I would like to put a votre privation de liberté à S24. Est-ce que pendant votre détention S24, à S24, vous étiez libre de ne pas travailler in S24, were you free not to work? Response. No, I was not detained, uh, but they just used Je me to work. Je n'étais pas détenu, mais uh, on m'a fait travailler. Est-ce que vous étiez libre de Mr. parler Mr. avec were les autres personnes qui travaillaient là-bas who were working in the same place as you? Mm. 
not. Response. No, I was not. Uh, I had no freedom of expression. And they had nothing to talk to them anyway. Est-ce que vous étiez libre de partager vos idées ou de critiquer l'organisation du travail, la qualité ou la quantité de nourriture ou la qualité des soins médicaux Response. None of us dared talk because we were afraid that our voice would be heard and we were so frightened that we had to concentrate only on the work and then when we came back from our work then we had to go to bed and we had no encouragement to actually talk anything about the quantity or the quality of the food or the health care and uh, because we noted that people would be called to be taken away and by seeing that uh, we shut up already est-ce que vous étiez libre de circuler were you free to move about à l'endroit où vous étiez détenu where you were detained Response. I would say that uh, I was not allowed non, to move about non, easily or uh, freely librement. because we only had to go to work and then Nous after we heard uh, the sound of the bell then uh, we had to come back to uh, the place where we stayed it was like being detained in a prison without wall si je dis qu'en réalité Question. vous n'aviez aucun droit aucune fact, liberté no rights, et que vous ne pouviez no prendre freedom, aucune décision par vous même est-ce correct Would I be correct? Yeah. Response. Yes, it is correct. Oui, exact, hein. It is very correct. C'est tout à fait exact. Étiez-vous donc sous l'emprise, le contrôle des personnes qui dirigeaient et vous surveillaient à S24 Est-ce que vous étiez sous ce contrôle total kept you under surveillance in S24. Would you say that there was total control over you. Response. Yes, it was a total control oui, oui, over oui, me because we were kept under surveillance at all times. And wherever we worked, we shall work in Et that location and then we were deprived of our rights to contact one another and we had to abide by their orders and we had no right uh, to contest or challenge anything. Merci. Thank you. Dans cette période à S24, est-ce que vous vous êtes senti considéré ou respecté en tant que femme, en tant qu'être humain you were given consideration and respect as a woman or as a human being. How could I say they respect me as a, a woman or as a person because when they talked to us they never looked uh, at us in the face uh, and I did not know how I was dehumanized uh, because uh, my life was in the hands of them and they could make any decision to kill me any time they wished to do so. 
J'aurais deux dernières questions, Monsieur le Président. Question. Est-ce que President. les détenus étaient généralement en bonne were santé ou est-ce qu'ils étaient plutôt maigres Or were they sur rather place thin, that is at S24. Some were very thin. Certains Some were étaient très maigres. Normal. D'autres étaient euh, But, uh, très anormales. At that time, we were Mais so frightened, although we were thin. But uh, we had to fight uh, to satisfy them, otherwise uh, we would uh, be satisfaire, car sinon nous risquions d'être tués. Madame Bouton, dernière question, question. que j'aurais. Question, si quelqu'un venait de l'extérieur et se rendait à S24, outside, dans une S24, des localités où vous avez travaillé, est-ce qu'il aurait pu voir facilement que les détenus étaient maigres ou en mauvaise santé At Anlungkong, there was a big house. Il y avait une grande maison. When newcomers were sent in, they would be sent into the house and we could not see them. The newcomers were with good health. People who were transferred from the Les other offices or ministries, they were still in good shape. Encore, uh, but uh, en bon after physique. we left uh, to uh, the work Mais site, uh, they après, disappeared, uh, and we don't know. Ils sont partis travailler. Tous ces gens ont disparu. Ils ne savons pas où ils sont partis. Je vous remercie beaucoup, Madame Bouton, d'avoir témoigné. Mr. Desma, euh, je n'ai plus de questions. Much, Merci, Monsieur le Président. For giving testimony, Mr. President, I have no further questions. Mr. President, uh, next we would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyers to put question to the witness. Each group has five minutes. Altogether, you have 20 minutes. You take the floor. Mr. President, your honors. Today, the civil party lawyers have already agreed that uh, the 20 minutes will be used by I alone to put questions to this witness. Good morning, Madame Bouton. I am Tisrina, the national co-lawyer for the civil parties of Group One, and my colleague Mr. Alain Werner also is in the same group. Before I put the questions, I would like to request that in your response, please be brief because my time is limited. I would like to seek clarification in relation to the statement you already stated that the people would be uh, called at night and disappeared. During that time, could you tell the court how was your mental condition? Response, I was Réponse. terrified, terrifié. but I did not talk, Mais je ne rien. because I just told myself that today or Car tonight that these people were taken out, maybe the next day it would be my turn. On this is now next question. Que you told the question. court Vous that you worked 
at Anlong Kong. Que vous aviez été envoyé à Anlong Kong. Did you see any mistreatment of the people who worked in the same place with you? Response: No, I did not. Réponse: Non. Question: Did Question. you ever see people died uh, of torture? Mourir, uh, des suites de la torture? Response: No, I didn't. Réponse: Non. Question. Question. Did you see people die of starvation? De faim? Response. Qu no, I did not. No. Next question. question. Say this, Rina. In order to refresh your memory, and it is the point uh, you stated uh, when you mémoire, gave the interview to the staff of the DC Cam. Notamment aux représentants de DC Cam. This interview was conducted on the 11th of September 2004, and I would like to quote the portion of that interview, and it, is, can, it can be found under ERN 0054525 in, in English. Zero zero two eight three eight five one. In that statement, uh, you were interviewed by the staff at DC Camp, and that uh, when you closed the door, what were you told? And you said that uh, he did not say anything at then. He told me the other day that uh, my fa uh, my husband did not eat. Uh, a few days, and only when he was strangled uh, that he told uh, about the students who returned from foreign country and were executed. And then the question was that, uh, in which country were those students from? And you said uh, you don't know because uh, you said that he was only asked uh, to transport them, and when you were asked how many people were there, then you said uh, you don't know. And uh, at that time, you said uh, you knew that after the people were disembarked from the airplane, then they would be taken away, and that uh, they would be taken to Dulslang prison. The luggages of those, uh, of those people were put in a different truck, while the people would be put in another truck, and that's what he told me. In relation to this statement, do you recall having said that? Having said that to the staff of DCCAM? Response. Response. At that time, my husband drove the truck. And when he mm. came back, he did not eat uh, meal. He was so sad. He did not say anything. And he said that a woman uh, should not be told anything about his sadness. Dire. And I told uh, him, I asked him to tell me anything about his uh, problem because we were only two people. And then I closed the door and then put my hands on his throat and uh, forced him to 
answer me. And he said that we had to be very careful and mindful of our business because people who were transported from the airport were straight forward sent to Dole's Lane and the luggage would be put on one track while the people would be carried on another track and sent straight to Dole's Lane. And that's all what he told me. And he talked to me that he did not want to share this information with me because women talk a lot. Question, did your husband also tell you about the reasons why those students from foreign countries returned from other countries and then sent to S21? Did he tell you more about this? Response. No, he didn't. Uh, he did not know much further than that. Uh, further than that, he was not different from me when it comes to that matter. This is next question. In 1979, you talked and you told about the event of 1979 to the judge uh, of the chamber that you won and uh, met Dutch. At that time, during the time when you were on a run, was, were you forced to go there or it was voluntarily? Response, as I already indicated, I was so stupid. I was not forced to follow them, but I tried to run after them and, and follow the gangs. Uh, I was not compelled uh, to go with them, but I was uh, forced to leave the area and then we just followed them. Tisrina, who actually told you to leave the location? Response, the chief at Anlongkorn. Because when we noted that there were bombardments in Phnom Penh, then we tried to escape, but I just went along blindfully. Uh, and uh, I did not instead go to my hometown. I didn't know why. Question, you told the court that you met the accused, Deutsch. At that time, did you realize that uh, Deutsch was still the chairperson or was he just ordinary person? Une personne comme les autres. Response. When I met him, Réponse. Lorsque je l'ai rencontré, il était vu en marchant 5 mètres à part de moi, et nous étions en groupe, et je n'ai pas su ce qu'il avait ordonné à nous d'aller quelque part, ou peut-être qu'il était encore avec les instructions quant à l'endroit où nous devions aller. Et nous étions dit qu'il était le chef de l'autorité. And that's all. Personne d'autorité. On nous a dit que c'était l'ancien directeur. That's all. Je l'ai aperçu. And we were told that he was the chief of S21. And then we started to run further. And the Vietnamese would be chasing behind. And the Vietnamese would be chasing behind. And the Vietnamese would be chasing behind. Et les Vietnamiens étaient à nos trousses. Tisrina, I would like to go back a little bit. J'aimerais revenir. When you were running to the location uh, that you met, were you all together with the detainees or were there civilians also? Response. There were mixed. There were even horses. Horses. Horses that carry the kitchen utilities. And uh, we went together in the group. Tisrina, how many detainees Question. were on the run with you? Ce groupe était composé de, de combien de, de détenus? Response. I don't remember, Réponse. but uh, there were approximately 100 uh, people because I could remember having cooked a big pot of rice. 
So there were three big pots of rice to feed the, the group. So there were at least a hundred people. This is when you met uh, the accused. Question: Lorsque vous avez rencontré l'accusé, did you observe his character or his mental condition? Was was he happy son attitude, or son, heartbroken? Son comportement, son état. Um, Response: I did not uh, observe his appearance brisé, because I was rather far from him. Plus, However, uh, I could see that he was just like a normal si human being. He wore shirt, les autres personnes, short il sleeve shirt, une à courte, and uh, I could see him walking, but I did not uh, pay for the attention to his character. Plus d'attention que cela à son uh, comportement the time when you ou, um, were there, um, à la manière dont il se did you à son ever état d'esprit. From the guard, question. The Khmer Rouge soldiers assigning new tasks. For example, the Vietnamese soldiers were uh, chasing them, did you ever hear any Khmer Rouge soldier who really set new plans for, uh, during such critical times? Response. No, there was no longer any other meeting. Se sont réunis ou se sont a... organisés. So you um, only met Dutch once, réponse, and that's all. Non, il n'y a pas eu de réunion à ce moment-là. Question, vous yes, n'avez rencontré Duc qu'à une seule occasion. I never met him again. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Je ne l'ai jamais rencontré a, depuis lors. Got a question. Personal question. J'ai une question personnelle à vous poser. And as you were victim during the regime. Que vous avez été une victime sous ce régime. Did you ever make anyone hurt or injured? Voluntarily or avez -vous jamais blessé willfully, intentionnellement, and if so, soit, did you feel remorseful? Um, Sentez-vous un remords? Response: You ask. Me about the Pol Pot regime, or you ask me about the current situation and personal question to me. Ou s'agit-il d'une question personnelle par rapport à la situation actuelle? Tisrina, could you please be? Question. Could I repeat the question? Je vais répéter ma question. If you cause any injury to anyone. In a situation si that it is not avoided because you were compelled uh, to do that. Uh, si by doing so, do you think that you feel forcé, guilty or remorseful? Si vous forcé de faire cela intentionnellement, est-ce que vous ressentez Response, à ce moment-là? I never vous committed any wrongdoing. How could I answer to your question? Because I never caused any harm or injuries to anyone. So in my whole life, as a good human doing, uh, being, I have been doing good deeds. And of course, if someone commits wrongdoing, uh, uh, he or she must be very remorseful as a good human being. But for me, I have never committed any wrongdoing. Even toward my parents or my close relatives, and so far I have never had any arguments or quarrels with any one of my neighborhood or member of the family. And I never exploited or caused any troubles to anyone. De Problème vis à vis de qui que ce soit. Tisrina, do you believe that you will maintain your good heartedness? 
since uh, you have been a good person. Puisque vous avez été une une bonne personne, est-ce que vous savez comment vous conserver uh, ce caractère de bonté? The civil party lawyer, could you please be reminded that l'avocat du groupe des partis personal de bien question or like hypothetical question should be avoided? Because the question is Car hypothetical, and I believe the response itself is imaginary. So please be straightforward to the fact at issue. Direct. Allez droit au fait. Allez this droit au thank you, Mr. President. I have no further questions, but with the President's mm, leave, I have a small request uh, and for the accused actually to clarify for one point. Demander au témoin ou poser une question au témoin pour lui demander de the president, uh, you are allowed uh, to put a question or uh, that request uh, to the accused. Uh, the accused, please be ready to respond to the question. Monsieur le président, j'invite le témoin, j'invite l'accusé à se préparer à répondre à cette question. I have a question. Question. And uh, there is a point that I need uh, to seek clarification from you. It is about the students and scholars who graduated in a foreign country and uh, the democratic Cambodia regime called them home. The question is why did the DK La question est la suivante. Pourquoi le Cambodge démocratique les a invités à revenir à leur pays d'origine Et à leur retour, est-ce que ces étudiants ont été envoyés directement à S21 ou ont-ils été envoyés dans d'autres euh, endroits The accused. Mr. President, accusé, Monsieur le Président. This topic is far from the pain inflicted upon this witness, so it is the President's discretion. De la souffrance, President. Yes. The question is granted because this is also in response to the witness testimony that this witness tries to threaten her husband to reply when the plane landed at the airport as he wanted to know what was going on and whether those students, those overseas students or professors were arrested and sent to S21. De ses and she was not sure on this particular point, and her husband himself was not, not sure. So the council wants to know whether they were transported directly from the Pochentong Airport to be detained at the S21 office. Transferred directly from the airport of Pochentong to S21. The accused, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Regarding the overseas students and intellectuals who returned to Cambodia, the first for them to be at S21 involved a lot of stages. First, they would be put into a center for re-education. Um, Later on, they would be sent to S21. Later on, upon seeing the analysis and judgment of the leadership, especially Brother Pol Pot, during the last phase, the intellectuals and overseas students, Pol Pot, les intellectuels et les étudiants qui avaient les personnes qui avaient étudié à l'étranger, clearly through that observation and analysis. It's like Pook Horn who observed and that this witness tried to strangle him to respond. And yes, indeed, they were sent to S21. 
uh, S21. The policy is of the CPK at the time, PCK, which was led by Pol Pot, Mune. Change and it became more vicious and cruel towards the intellectuals, and that is the truth. Vis -vis des et ceci est What la vérité. I am speaking now is not try to get myself rid of those crimes and responsibilities. De me laver de toute responsabilité. If we briefly look at this matter, it could be that way, but I do not blame any people of the crimes committed at S21. And yes, I am responsible for the crimes committed at S21. I am responsible before the nation. And toward the end of the final submission, I would summarize all my confessions. And I would also mention a point regarding this witness button. This is my response to you, Mr. President. This um, um, uh, on behalf of the Council for the Civil Party, I would like to thank Madame Bouton for her testimony before this chamber, as well as in her response to my questions. The President, for the response she has to my questions, the Defence Council is now given the floor to put questions. To this witness. Les de la défense a posé leurs questions. If you have questions, you si take the floor. Questions, je vous en prie. Kassavut. Maître Kassavut. Thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Your Honor. Good Bonjour, morning, Monsieur ladies Monsieur and gentlemen. Monsieur. Bonjour, Mesdames et Messieurs. Madame. You said. Madame. Vous avez dit. Deutsch. did not kill people personally, but he, is res he was responsible for that location. Can you tell us clearly why you dare to say that he did not kill anyone with his own hands? Response. I said that because I did not see it. That is all. I did not see him kill anybody. If I saw him beating someone or killing someone, I would say so. This is my response. What else you want me to say? Thank you. My next question is to you. You said during the Pol Pot regime, first, you were not aware that people were taken and killed. Is that correct? Response, yes. If I knew people would be taken and killed, then I would not uh, blame the revolution. I did not know anything. Even after the liberation, I still followed them. Thank you. My next question. So if upon the time that you knew people were taken and smashed, and after that you knew the executioners, if they did not follow the orders, those executioners would be executed as well, because the orders came through the chain of command. So my question to you is, in your mind, who would you be angry with if the order came through the chain of command? Like that. I, now I do not know whom I should be angry with. I, this is the reason why I want the lawyers and other people here to find the, the justice for me. How can I blame Pol Pot? Pol Pot is dead. And who else should I blame? So I just would like to appeal to the lawyers, the competent authorities to be fair and to find justice. That's all. Thank you. I, with the President's leave, I Question. would like the International Council to continue questioning to the witness. Permission, Monsieur the President, President the International Defence Council, you may proceed.
Je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, en l'état des questions qu'a posées mon frère, je n'ai pas de questions complémentaires à poser à ce témoin. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions complémentaires à poser. The President. Le the Chamber now gives the opportunity to the accused to make his observation if he wishes to do so in addition to what he has already stated in regards to the testimony of this witness, Bouton. Du témoignage de Madame Bouton, notre témoin. The accused, Mr. President. L'accusé, Monsieur le Président. The testimony of Madame Bouton. Le témoignage. Is straight from her bravery act to speak the truth. Est véridique And et s'inspire de la it réalité. C'est aussi le droit de so many years of pain and suffering inflicted upon her. Le témoin a duré des années de souffrance. Three children and elle a perdu trois enfants. Elle n'a même pas connu la cause de leur décès. Et elle ne connaît même pas her la cause de leur décès. Elle a perdu son enfant. Also, her husband lost his life. Le plus jeune qui est mort dans ses bras. Son mari, lui aussi, What I est mort. Have said is not intended to say that because she was one of the components of the 17 April people as a policy of the CPK, que they did not involve or recruit the 17 April. people. But when the party decided to execute Koitun, then all the strings would have to be arrested and executed. And that was the mandate of Pol Pot. And Pol Pot decided to remove Pukhon from the Ministry of Energy. And it has to be decided by the standing committee in 1976, from mid-76, the Ministry of Energy leadership was changed. And Chon replaced. But whatever the leadership was, the political line was still a political line. And Pok Hon was removed because of the CPK political line. A trouvé, uh, a été and of course, he was transferred to S21, and his name appeared on the list. Separately, the children of Bouton were not on the list, but I still believed they were taken. Sur cette liste. Mais so, je pense each year when this witness goes to jail, it is appropriate because I believe se porte the, sur that the husband and the children were killed there, so their souls were still there. Pour prier pour les âmes des Amongst the millions of Cambodian people who lost their husbands and wives during the regime, I accept their regret and their sorrow and their suffering. And the tear that is now flowing from my eyes is the tear of innocence. And I respect the stance and suffering of those people. I want to be close to the Cambodian people, and I don't mind them. They can condemn me to whatever highest level of punishment, or if there is an existing Cambodian tradition as it existed in the past. Or after the death of the Christ, Cambodian people can't do that to me. I would accept it. My life, just one life, cannot compare to those 
que Light, ma soeur ne which were lost être comparée à toutes ces vies perdues pendant cette période. I accept all the mistakes, all the offenses before the chamber and before de toutes ces erreurs, de tous ces the witness, délits the devant la chambre et devant the le témoin. Of the civil party council, you may proceed. Je note que M. Sinski souhaite intervenir. M. Sinski peut-être que il est trop tard pour intervenir. In Mais to a situation that she ce, uh, cannot and uh, is not able, as far as I can look at her reactions, um, uh, to sit there and to provoque, accept this speech. Um, that is my impression, and um, I really would um, like to uh, either grant a break or to uh, sont difficilement stop supportables pour speech, le témoin et nous uh, pouvons clairement le voir. Um, makes et the victim and I would really vis -vis intervene propos, at this point. This is not appropriate. La à intervenir vis à vis des propos qui sont actuellement exprimés par l'accusé vis à vis du Con peuple cambodgien et du the président. Thank you for your président, observation, je vous remercie, maître, de cette observation. Due to the feeling of the witness at the moment le and the accused do you have anything else to add je vous demande monsieur l'accusé si vous avez and autre chose you are reminded not to say more things in order to make this witness remember the suffering that she has been inflicted upon for so many years le souvenir douloureux the accused mr um, president i would like to continue a little bit more Endurer. The reason uh, that I try to recall the suffering of Madame Bouton and the Cambodian people throughout the country uh, is to show the greatest scope of suffering that I have to receive. Without doubt, I have already told the chamber that um, the crimes, the strategy in Cambodia is like a dead elephant and you cannot hide it with a bucket. And I have already told the chamber to the Cambodian people that now you cannot use two leaves to three leaves to cover a dead elephant. And one leaf would represent the notion the president, your objection is not granted. Now the chamber grants the accused to speak. Votre observation, Monsieur l'accusé, poursuivez. What I said is to refer to the crimes that I have to face and to accept it, regardless how large it is. I do not avoid my responsibilities for the loss of the lives of people during the regime, as I have already and repeatedly said in this chamber. And I would not use a bucket to hide a dead elephant. And like I said, two leaves cannot hide a dead elephant, and one leaf would would represent a notion of loving a country. Because at that time, we believed the UN or Vietnamese invaded Cambodia. And I myself would accept the crimes that were inflicted upon the Cambodian people. And I would not pass the blame to anybody else. I already stated clearly the responsibilities of S21. And now, finally, before the first of Madame Bouton, I would like to take this opportunity to make this statement before you and before the Cambodian people that I would like to share the sorrow and the suffering from you with the bottom, from the bottom of my heart, du fond de that is coeur. number one. And number two, I will chose, accept without challenge to all the judgments which will be made by this chamber. Par la chambre. 
the judgment for my role as the chairman of I-21 and all the crimes committed there. I would accept it by legal means and by psychological means. Et sur le plan and I am humble before the Cambodian people to accept all these crimes. And I would humble. like the Cambodian people je to me condemn me devant le peuple cambodgien to the strictest level of punishment. I would like the Cambodian people to be brave and courageous and talk straight and honest like Madame Bouton. This is my response, Mr. President. Madame Bouton aujourd'hui. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The president, the now it is time for an adjournment for lunch break. The chamber will adjourn and it will resume in the afternoon starting from 1.30 p.m. Before the adjournment, the chamber is grateful for Madame Bouton's presence and participation in providing her testimony to the chamber as summoned by the chamber. The chamber also noticed and acknowledged the challenges and difficulties faced by you because the facts have had existed for so many years and during the testimony you were faced with several questions put forward by the chamber and the parties to the proceedings. Regardless, the Chamber is appreciative of your patience and responses to the questions. Votre patience et pour les réponses que vous avez données à ces questions. Court officer, Je demande à lui si can you make necessary arrangements with the visual unit avec de, de unité au to arrange for the safe travel of Madame Bouton. Madame Security Bouton guard take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back before 1.30 this afternoon. The hearing is now adjourned. Some All rise, says the graphier.